Hello, hello, hello. This is Elect Lady Vanessa Dalton, and welcome to another Choose Tuesday. Welcome back. Dr. Hood is back, and I hope you enjoyed what she taught you on last Tuesday. So you know what to do. Go around the house, grab someone, and let them know that True Tuesday is on. Go get on your iPad, your laptop, get notebook paper and a pencil, whatever you use to take notes with. But most of all, don't forget your Bible and come on and let's get into the Word. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lady Vanessa, for that introduction once again. You do so great. Listen, y'all, I'm telling you, we got a word today from God. We're coming from Psalms chapter 139, but on behalf of Pastor Scott Dalton, Lady Vanessa, and everybody, all the members here at True Word Fellowship, we welcome you to True Tuesday, where we give you a quick Bible study, <laughs> a look into the Word of God and uh, you allow it to change your life. So listen, y'all, we're coming from Psalms 139. Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify your name and praise you. We thank you for another night of Bible study. We thank you for this day that you have given us to come closer to you and learn of you and learn of your word and learn what you have to say to us. We thank you for the personal relationship that we have with you. And for those that do not have a personal relationship with you, God, we pray now that they may come asking, what must I do to be saved? That they may see the Jesus in us or the Jesus around those who they are around that will cause them to want more of you. And Father God, we thank you for the word in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Listen, tonight we're coming from Psalms chapter 139. And this is kind of like a toughie. It may step on your feet just a little bit. Amen. But whenever it comes a time where your feet are stepped on or you say ouch and you say amen, it's supposed to change your life. Amen. So y'all, let's go to it. Psalms 139. It's a Psalm, Psalm of David. It says, Oh Lord, thou hast searched me. Uh-huh. That thou has took in time to know me. As a matter of fact, you knew me while I was in my mother's room womb, because there's another scripture that says you knew me while I was in my mother's womb. You must know that God knows you. Uh-huh. Because he searched you, he understands you, he has studied you. He listen, he made you so he knows all about you. And and it goes on to say, and know me. Oh Lord, thou hast searched me. And know me. You took the time. See, a lot of times people may come into your life, but they don't take the time to get to know you. They they just, if, if, if there's somebody that comes into your life and they just want a benefit from you or they want something from you, they're not going to take the time to get to know you. But I come to let you know that we serve a God that knows you and he knows you very well. Verse 2 says, Thou knowest my down-sitting and my uprising. You know when I lay down. You know when I get up. You, you know when I'm at the bottom. You know when I'm in my valley experience. And you know when I'm on the mountaintop. You know my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. God understands and know what you're thinking. Even when you don't think he knows it. You may have people that sit right beside you. People that eat with you. People that um, watch TV with you. Go to school with you. Work with you. You may have somebody that's close by you but they may not always know what you're thinking. Come on now. But God knows exactly what you're thinking. Why? Because he knows you. He studied you. He understands you. He made you. So he knows what you're thinking, although, he's, although you feel like he's not around. Listen, thou compassest my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. He knows all your ways. Come on now. He is always there for somebody. I'm telling you, God is always there. Even when you think he isn't, he understands and he knows every single thing about you. He understands your attitude. He understands your feelings, your emotions. He understands when you're feeling good and you're praising him and you're on that natural high. And he understands when you are at your lowest point and you're upset with him and you're mad with him and you're blaming him for things. God understands everything about you. He crosses every path of your life. When you're feeling good, when you're feeling bad, when you, everything is on the up and up and when everything's on the down. He, he crosses your path. He understands your daily life of things that you
you go through. The Bible says in verse 4, for there is not a word in my tongue. There's not even a word that come out of your mouth that he don't already know is about to come out your mouth. There is not a word that you can keep hidden. You can't whisper it. You can't sit there and write it on a piece of paper and hope he don't see it. Oh, y'all, I'm teaching well today. You can't write it down in your journal or your diary and think that he don't see it and th think that he don't understand it. He knows. But lo, oh Lord, thou knowest it all together. Listen, before I close I just want to tell you that God knows you, so watch your steps. Woo! Oh my goodness, I love it, I love it. God knows you, so watch your steps. In this new year, as you go through life, as you get to know God, as you come closer to God, he knows all about you. A lot of times, people make the excuse, God knows my heart, so I can do what I want to do. God knows my heart, so I don't have to come to church. God knows my heart, so I can say what I want to say, and I can do what I want to do. And all I got to do is pray, and all I got to do is ask for forgiveness. But I come to let you know, just because he knows you, doesn't mean you got to do it. Oh my goodness. Just just because he knows you don't mean that it's lawful for you to do. Just because he knows you don't mean that you can say what you want to say and do what you want to do and treat people bad. Come on now. Just because you know him and just because he knows you, I'm sorry, just because he knows you doesn't mean that you can go and you cannot have that relationship with him and you, have, and you disrespect him. Just because you know him. A lot of times we know people or we think we know people or we're in relationships with people abroad, whether it's in church ministry or whether it's a romantic relationship, whether it's your husband, whether it's your wife, and we take them for granted because we know them. God is the same way. He's saying the same thing today. Just because I know you don't mean that you disrespect me. So listen, as you go through your journey today, as you go through your journey for the rest of your days, Know that God knows you because he made you. And when he made you, he studied you. He, he sees, in other words, he sees everything that you go through. He sees how you react to certain things. He sees how you bless other people. He's watching you on the broad spectrum of good, bad, or evil, and, and, and good. He's watching you. But just because he knows you, doesn't mean that you respect him and his authority. We thank y'all for watching True Word uh, Fellowships, uh, True Tuesday today with Dr. Angela Hood. Listen, y'all come visit us anytime on Sunday mornings. We are here, 310 West Metal Road here in Eden, North Carolina. Our Sunday school starts at 9 o'clock a.m. and our morning worship starts at 10 o'clock a.m. And we would love to see you here as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the word of God. We thank you, God, that you know us. You took the time to groom us. You took the time to put us together and make us in every fiber of our being, from our head to our toe. You understand our feelings. You understand our emotions. You understand our ups and you understand our downs. You understand our valley experiences and our mountain experiences. And God, you know that as you cross and come past us, God, the words that we say, God, let it be words that edify and lift up God in the name of Jesus. Let us be careful of what we say and careful of what we do. And most of all, God, let us respect you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.